Hi, dear cricket fans. As promised, this is your host, your host Ram, uh, with Cricket Happenings, an early edition of Cricket Happenings. Uh, for the reason, because I wanted to bring you about the Pakistani victory here. Well, Pakistan, after 15 years, have managed to defeat Australia in a test match, and the win was more significant as captain Salman Butt, in his first test match as captain, was victorious. Pakistan went on to level the MCC spirit of Test Cricket Series 1-1 by winning the second test match by three wickets on the fourth day itself against England at Headingley. But with Australia fighting till the last moment and snaring four wickets in the morning and even the 40 runs needed for victory for Pakistan looked a huge task in the end. But finally, they managed to do it. Pakistan requiring just another 40 runs for victory started with Azhar Ali cover driving Bollinger through the covers for a four to complete his maiden half century in test. It was out edging to Tim Payne for 51 with six fours and Pakistan were 146 for four. Umar Akmal got an edge four of Wilfen Horse and left the scene caught behind of an outswinger of the same ball of a eight and the fifth wicket was down for Pakistan for 150. Suddenly pressure on Pakistan to get another 30 runs and Akmal and Shoaib Malik survived some tough moments with Shoaib being dropped by a diving clerk at second slip. Malik then drove Wilfen Horse and not brought out a wonderful catch and he was walking in fact, Malik was walking after making 10 and the 6th wicket fell with the score on 161. 19 runs more to get and Amar blocked the delivery with the odd 4 hit. But Akmal lent into a cover drive for 4 of Bollinger and hit 2 fours of Hilfenhaus next over to relieve the pressure for Pakistan. Akmal, after tying the scores at 179 for 7, slashed at a wide ball from Johnson and Hussey held the catch well and Akmal was out for 13 with just 1 run to win. With just one run to win, Umar Gul got the ball past the cover fielder for a single uh, to take Pakistan finally past the target and actually relieve all the Pakistani cricket fans uh, in the stadium. Well, dear cricket fans, as I said, even though Pakistan made it, in fact, Australia fought till the last in this match. Before that, let me just go through the bowling figures here. Uh, uh, Mohamed Amr was not out on five, Umar Gul was not out on one. And the bowling figures, Dougie Bollinger, 13 overs, 2 maidens, 3 for 51. Ben Hilfenhaus, 13 overs, 2 maidens, 3 for 39. Mitchell Johnson, 10.4 overs, 1 maiden, 1 for 41. Uh, Shane Watson, 5 overs, 1 maiden, none for 18. And Stephen Smith, 9 overs, 2 maidens, none for 24. Uh, well, so the series was gone, drawn 1-1. One, one, and the uh, player of the match for Pakistan was Mohamed Amr. And player of the match for Australia was Shane Watson. Well... Now, uh, just talking about this match because I have some lot of time now to just talk about various things here. Uh, well, I thought that uh, Pakistan uh, were really, really struggling because uh, they made a hash of it, in fact. 40 runs to get and 7 wickets intact in the morning when they started. They lost 4 wickets for 40 runs unless Kamran Akmal actually relieved them by scoring some 13 runs with those 3 boundaries. Otherwise, it was looking, uh, certainly things were looking uh, bleak for Pakistan, but well, Pakistan managed to do that. So that's credit to them and also Pakistan will be very happy to have done this because they first uh, had the uh, 2020 series, uh, they won 2-0 against Australia and after that now uh, they have taken, in fact they leveled the series 1-1 so that is uh, absolutely a fitting blow uh, to what uh, Australia uh, did to Pakistan and uh, believe me dear cricket fans, 1995 was the last that Pakistan actually defeated Australia in a cricket test, in a test match, and well, uh, what a relief it would have been. And beating Australia uh, is something that anyone would be, any team would be happy about because they are one of the strongest teams uh, on the world scene. Um, well, as far as Australia is concerned, Australia have a lot of soul searching to do because uh, they have not had a good run here. They first lost uh, the uh, one-day series against England, uh, then they lost the 2020 uh, matches against uh, Pakistan and now Pakistan have leveled the series. So Australia have a lot of things to do. They definitely have some pluses there with uh, Stephen Smith uh, really showing that uh, what a good all-rounder he is, uh, no doubt about that. But as far as Pakistan is concerned, um, first and foremost, I would congratulate uh, Salman Butt on his first test as captain. I always thought that Salman Butt had uh, all the captaincy uh, potential and today it came out into the open. Well, Salman Butt himself has lead been leading by example in the series 
uh, with some very very good knocks uh, Imran Farhat also contributed well yesterday with 67 uh, the youngsters Hazar Ali and Umar Amin are also looking good Umar Amin still needs to um, I, I, I thought with I mean I thought with uh, more opportunities Umar Amin would get better but Hazar Ali has already impressed one and all here uh, with his um, way of stroke plays defense uh, the, what I like about Azhar Ali is that he has the staying power. So you need somebody who could be a rock in the Pakistan cricket team. I think Azhar Ali as an youngster has really proved that and doing something, uh, getting such runs against Australia uh, is uh, not a small matter at all. Uh, Umar Akmal uh, still needs to uh, really, you know, uh, show more and more uh, maturity I thought because uh, he was actually trying to uh, play in the matches as if it is a one-day match. Umar Akman needs to really uh, get ahead there. And other than that, the bowling of Pakistan has been simply superb. Mohamed Amar, uh, what a sensation. He is 18-year-old. Uh, I would say right now that uh, Pakistan is just unearthing another Vasi Makram in the making now. Uh, Mohamed Asif, well, line-to-line uh, -line bowling. What a great bowler he is. He has been turning out to be... Uh, you give him the conditions and is very, very difficult. And Umar Gul also... Uh, just needs to improve a bit uh, but other than that Umar Amin also picked up his uh, two test wickets here so all in all I think uh, it has been a very good series it has been very very evenly contested and finally the results are all there to see uh, it's a it's a one all so it's a one the series has been tied one one this was the first time uh, a match was uh, a test match was played on a neutral ground uh, where, well Pakistan and Australia actually clashed uh, in England so it's a great series uh, but for Pakistan now, they have to keep up the good work because they will be having some uh, test matches against uh, England. Uh, so that is going to be uh, something uh, that they are going to be uh, looking forward to for sure. And well, England will be very of it and they would be doing their homework now to how to actually uh, play against Pakistan. So that's it dear cricket fans for Cricket Amish. It has been a pleasure bringing you an early edition uh, of Cricket Happenings today. Thank you for your company and hope to see you all and thanks for your tremendous support dear cricket fans subscribers and friends please do subscribe to my cricket videos as it is absolutely free of cost that's it dear cricket fans for cricket happenings this is ram signing off thank you